All right, we have finally made it to the portion of this tutorial where we are going to be working on our Boom cards inside of the Boom Learning Platform. So go ahead and find this page on your computer. You need to be at wowboomlearning.com and you should have an account. If you don't, you did not follow my instructions in the first video. So please make sure you have an account so that we can work together and create this great game board set. So now we're gonna go to Studio and you're gonna scroll down to the Asset Managers section and you're going to make a deck. Okay, we're gonna go up to New Deck and now we are in our area where we are going to be working. So over here on the left hand side we have add a new card, inserted after selected card, new card from images, and then clone the selected card as well as a delete button. We're going to go to the second button here that says new cards from images. So it says, would you like to create new cards using background images? Those are the JPEGs that we just created. So we're gonna hit yes, and then we are going to go to upload, and we're gonna go find those images, okay? So we want to go to game boards, and we're gonna do command A to select all of them. So once again, we're saving ourselves time. We're gonna select open, and then you'll see them pop up right here. So we want to select them in the order that we want them to be. So here is our main navigation page, then we're going to have our beach ball, then we're going to have the sunshine, and then we're going to have the whale. Now we can hit OK. You'll notice they're on the left hand side already. We have this white page here that we're going to delete because it's not part of our deck. Okay. So now we want to go on to the first page, and just to give you an estimate, I think all of this will take about 10 minutes if we really stay focused, okay? So we're on the first page, and remember, this is our navigation page, so we need to create um, a way to make these buttons that are going to lead to these pages. So we're gonna go up to text, and you simply click it and drag it down, and then we're going to double click it and hit delete to get rid of the stuff that was inside. We're gonna drag this open, and we're going to make it the size of this square. Okay, so go ahead and try and fit it around that square. And we're going to move it over. Now we want to be able to link this, but you'll notice over here we have no way of linking it because we need to go to details and go down here and select Flow Magic. Okay, so now we have a link to button. So we're going to hit link to, and we're going to link this icon to the beach ball page. Now we're going to take this and duplicate it. And we're going to go ahead and drag it over to this one and duplicate a third one. So that didn't take long at all. Now the problem we have is these are linked both to the beach ball page. So we're gonna click on this one and change the link to the sunshine page. Click on this one and change the link to the whale page. All right, this page is done. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. Here we have our game pieces. These are not movable and we need them to be movable. And here we need to have text boxes and this needs to be a button. So we have some work to do, okay? So we are going to do our text boxes first and instead of doing text up here, we're gonna do fill in the blank. So we are going to drag this over and it's kind of small, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, so we should be able to type in that text box once we go to preview. Right now we will not be able to. So we want to do Command C, Command V, or you can go over and do the duplicate button, but that's a little bit far from where I'm working right now. And then we're going to do Command C, Command V with both of them, just like we did when we were making them. Okay, so we have those right there. Now let's check our work. We're gonna to go to preview and we should be able to type in these boxes. So we'll say uh, blue player and you notice we have lots of space to write someone's name. Okay, so they all work perfect. Okay, let's go back now that they're tested. Okay, so we know that these are also gonna go on these other pages, okay? And we have other things that are gonna repeat as well, so we'll hang tight for a moment. Okay, new game needs to be something that's also linkable, so we're gonna drag this text box down. Remember, we're gonna get rid of the text inside, and we're gonna drag it across to make it large enough to fit over on this new game area. Okay, so we have it like that. And we are going to go to link to, next card, okay? Now I'll point out some details about this in a little bit, but make sure it's linked to the next card, okay? So now we need to have our game pieces. We also need our beach balls. So we're gonna go to image, and here we're gonna upload an image. So we need our game pieces, okay? 
So let's type in game, and I'm just going to look through and see if I can find them. Hmm. Let me go to my downloads. I have a lot of stuff on my computer, so <laughs> it might be a little bit harder for me to find this stuff than it will be for you. So we'll do game pieces, and hopefully some something comes up. I know this was from P4 Try Originals, so I can go and look and see if I can find where um, these came from. Um, okay, another way you can do this is I am going to go to this keynote, and I'm actually going to just simply collect this, or um, yeah, collect it, do Command C, and I'm going to go back to this window. I just want to save you guys time from watching me try to find it. So I'm going to do Command V right into it. And here I have my game piece. So I'm going to size it down so that it fits over um, this piece right here. Okay. And we want to make this draggable because if it's not draggable, there's no point in having it. So we'll hit draggable. And we know it's draggable because it has this little hand icon on it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go back to my keynote, do Command C, and put it in here, Command V. And I'm just going to get them all in there. Okay, I'm going to grab yellow, Command C, and go back out and Command V. And get the green one and Command V. Okay, so now I'm gonna size them all down and make sure that they're all draggable. Okay, size that one down and make it draggable. So you should be doing this too. And you guys, we're almost halfway done, so this should not take much longer. Okay, so we're going to put this over here on the red one, it's about the same size. Put this on the yellow one, that's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay, and we're going to grab this green one, and that was the right size too. So let's double check. They're all draggable. Perfect. Okay, let's make the yellow a little bit bigger. And now we need the beach balls. Okay, so this one we should be able to find pretty easily um, when I go to upload. Okay, so we'll do beach ball, and there is our beach ball right there. Oops, come back, come back. I just saw it, here it is, okay. So here's our beach ball, right? So we're gonna open it up. And this is the proper way to do it. So go ahead and do this with all your pieces. We're gonna make it draggable, okay? And then we are going to, oops, make it smaller, just like we did the game pieces. Okay, you can put out as many as, as you like. I'm gonna put four out. So Command C, Command V, I've got another one. And I'm gonna do it again. And we'll put it right here, okay? So we're done with that. So now we need to take the things that belong in the game and all the game boards and we're going to copy all of them like this and do Command C and we're going to go to the next page and hit Command V and we're going to hit Command V. Okay, so all we need to add now are the sunglasses and the scuba gear. That's it. Okay, so we're going to get our image again and we're going to go to... Uh, oh. There, there are sunglasses right here. So we have the blue sunglasses and we want the heart sunglasses. So I'm gonna select both of those, open both of those, and then you can only select one at a time. So I'm gonna make sure it's draggable, make it smaller here, and let's put them out here. And I'm gonna do two of each. So once again, it's up to you. Um, now we need the little heart sunglasses, and we're going to grab those, make them draggable, make sure they're draggable, and you're going to size them down, okay, and Command C, Command V, put them right here, okay, and then now we just need our scuba gear. So we only need three pieces of scuba gear here. I'm going to go to upload, and we're going to type in scuba, hopefully that comes up. Nope, that's something else. So we'll do snorkel and I still do not see it, so maybe flippers. Oh, here we go, okay, so we're gonna go to the snorkeling, and we wanna grab the purple flippers, the purple mask, and the purple uh, tube, okay? So once again, we're gonna put them all in one at a time, make sure that they are each draggable, and I keep emphasizing it because sometimes you're going to make something that needs to be draggable and forget to do it. And then later you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's not draggable. And you have to go back and do it. Um, so let's grab this inner tube, make it draggable. 
and whoops, the sizing gets a little complicated sometimes. Um, okay, so we're gonna size it down because we want these to be able to fit in here or kind of in this area. So I think we need to even make this one smaller. And let's go grab those flippers and that's gonna be pretty much our last thing. So we need to go to image and we're gonna grab the flippers, make them draggable of course, and then we're going to put them, let's put them right, whoops. Oh no, you guys. <laughs> um, I don't know why my computer decided to do that. Okay, so now we're going to put them right here. Okay, so we have everything we need. So now we need to, oh, I'm gonna come back to this new game button, okay. So this is linking to the next page, right? So what we need to do is come over to this area on the left-hand side, and we're going to um, duplicate it. We're gonna clone it two times, okay? And then we're gonna go to the sun and duplicate it two times, and we're gonna go to the whale and duplicate it two times, okay? Now on the very last page, we want to change this to link back to the main navigation page, okay? And so we're gonna do this, link it back to the main navigation page, and the very last one, we're going to also link this page um, to the last navigation page, okay? And I think that is all we need to do. Let's see if we're missing anything at all. Um, no, that is it. So we have our game. Everything is linked. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to go to preview and we can hit the beach ball. It's going to take us to the beach ball. Oh, here is what we are missing. We need to have a button that takes us back. Okay, so I like to use my logo. You could use anything you want. Um, you could even uh, write in um, back or home. Okay. So we'll do this, we'll make the font a little bit um, different, and we'll make it a little bit smaller, and we're gonna change the color to, let's make the color yellow, okay? And we're gonna move it to this area here. Now we know that we're gonna put that on each page. We're gonna do Command C, and we're actually going to do a shortcut. We're gonna come to the template card, and we're gonna do Command V. Okay, and we're gonna move it up to that top corner and double check and see that it's in each page. We don't need it here, so we're gonna delete it. Okay, and let's go ahead and move it a little bit. You have to kind of guesstimate with this. We're gonna move it over here. Let's see, move it up a little bit. I think a logo button looks much better, okay, but you guys would have to have um, your own button to put there. Okay, so that looks good. You'll notice it's the same on every single page. Now we need to link this button to this page. That's gonna be our home page. So now we can go and try out our game, okay? So we have open-ended game boards. Let's go to the beach ball game and we can type in whatever the student's name is. So we're gonna say Kelly and I'm gonna say, um, uh, Robin. Okay, Kelly and Robin. So we can move our game pieces all the way around the board and as we come to each spot we can put them in the center. We can play a new game and it'll take us back to the main page. Now the only thing we're missing is a spinner. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to make a spinner. I'll see you there.